Hey guys, welcome to the school of rock stars. Today we are going to think like Gary V, Tom Pelieu, Wolf of Wall Street and Jim Quick. They all say, even Carmichael, what they preach is you need to overcome your limiting belief. You need to- if someone wasn't raised in that environment with that self-belief, how does one develop that for themselves? Surrounding themselves by people that do it for them or consuming content that does it for them. Penetrating people's skulls and reframing their game. Their mom told them they were a loser. I'm telling them they're a winner. I think I can outmarket their mom. Their mom had a big head start and a whole lot of like emotional, like physiological advantages. But guess what? Give me 18 months of your time, give me two hours a day, I'll make you realize your mom and go do your thing. Come harmful, how do you detect overconfidence that might stop you from striving to get better every day? Okay, so I, I don't think that confidence is ever dangerous. What I think is dangerous is a way of approaching the world. If you value yourself for being a master, if your confidence comes from, I know this stuff, then you're gonna be in trouble because I think that the reality is that being a master Um, feeling like you're an expert, that stuff is a trap and you need to keep your beliefs nimble. So the more you learn, the more you need to be checking yourself to make sure that that stuff isn't calcifying into dogma, meaning that it becomes like, I do it this way and that's the way I do it, that's the way I've always done it, that's what my success is based on, so I'm gonna keep doing it. That becomes incredibly dangerous, especially now in a world that changes and evolves so quickly, what worked yesterday may not keep working tomorrow. So you've gotta constantly be willing to check your assumptions, and I think the easiest way to check your assumptions is to write them down. Writing them down is gonna force you to have clarity on what your assumptions are, so that's really, really important, and I'm going through this right now in building the studio, I have a belief system about the way that things work. I have a belief system about the way that marketing works and I'm constantly trying to check that. And so I found that there were some beliefs that were so embedded in me, I didn't even realize anymore that they were beliefs. And so there's that whole concept of David Foster Wallace, the guy that wrote the speech, this is water, look it up on YouTube right now in fact. I don't even mind if you bail out of this right now to go watch it, it's that important to get this concept burned into your psyche. The fish, is the last one to become aware of the water. It is so ubiquitous that they don't even realize it's a thing. That's what happens with your beliefs. You begin to believe them and internalize them so much that you forget at one point that that was something that you learned or discovered or chose to believe. And so at some point, that now may be holding you back. So I find writing them down so that I'm aware of what my assumptions are, I'm aware of what my beliefs are, then I can go in and say, and this is straight from Tim Ferriss, if you haven't watched the episode of Impact Theory with Tim Ferriss, check it out. He talks about what if you did the opposite? What if you did the opposite for 24 or 48 hours? It's very easy to overcome that and back out of it if it doesn't work, but for 24 or 48 hours, just try it. What if you had the opposite belief? What if you approach things in the opposite manner? Would you get a better result? And doing that and checking Checking your um, beliefs and assumptions against that can be incredibly powerful. It will certainly open up new vistas, new possible avenues. I highly, highly recommend that. Overcome your personal limiting beliefs because that's very important in our life because we always tell ourselves the story. Because, um, like, uh, we tell ourselves a story and excuses in our mind and we don't take actions towards it. You want to become big, but are you taking actions towards it? But instead of taking action, what we are doing is we are telling the stories, making the excuse list. We are shattering our ourselves. We are shattering our thoughts, our bigger thoughts of taking action. Or shed, like we are shattering and we like we are dreaming big, but you're not starting at least a small work towards it. You're not doing a small thing. How it will happen in your life? Just think of it. You should not complain. You should not. You should not be like they are getting all the things that they want in life. Why? Are, why they are getting? Because they are doing the things. They are taking actions every single day. Don't take all the people into considerations. 
some people will get that get those things or inherit those properties or the all that money through their parents but you are not that, you are not that kind of person you have to work hard work you have to work smart you need to overcome your limiting beliefs that's why that's where your journey starts that's where your success starts first we always think um what i can say is for example um i want to record all my videos for the whole week on saturday that's what i decided last week so that's why i i walked all all across from like a, from my apartment to here it uh, it takes me around 30 minutes but today like i can walk but what today weather is it's very cold outside and it's drizzling but i want to make things happen i didn't make any excuses if i like if my brain or i got the thoughts of like why i'm doing it's drizzling i can uh, do the same things at my home but i i i'm not doing the things that i want at my home because uh i'm feeling lazy i'm feeling comfort so that's why that's why i worked all the way i didn't make any excuses i shattered i like i eliminated all those thoughts from my mind and i believed in myself i got that confidence you need to go because you need to get things done you should be a rock star of what you are doing you should not be a small you should not be a little man in your life you should be a rock star that's how most of the people they do they they like uh like when uh in one of the video evan carmichael says like uh when he's starting writing a book his first book your one word we always think it's like a, it's um he he thought that it it should be the best top 10 books in the uh, business industry for the entrepreneurs but when he is starting he got all the thoughts like is uh, i'm doing good because like all those thoughts shatter our great dreams big beliefs then what you need to do you need to surround yourself with like minded people or surround yourself with people who are doing the same things or who are doing a similar kind of things not exactly they also don't like uh, they also should not do uh, should not write the book but they pick the people choose the people wisely because if they are in the field of entrepreneur then they will understand your thoughts your worries and your beliefs towards it so if you believe if you if you dream big it's not enough you need to work you need to believe in that if you go through it if you write start if you start writing it then only you will get that belief and sat in a belief and confidence that your book will become the best in the business field or in the uh, athletics or in the health if you are in a different field and it you need to first believe in the product you are doing or you are working on otherwise things won't ha- things won't happen easily that's what you need to believe you need to believe in yourself how like how to overcome your limiting beliefs how you can overcome you can you should start working on it you should start taking small steps towards it and if you are not doing the content that gives you that belief and confidence in you then consume the content that gives you confidence that gives you belief in yourself find online if you are not if you are not having like a like minded people in your community or surrounded by yourself then find them online there are many people who can help you don't sit idle in your home don't sit idle get things done and overcome your limiting beliefs so let's do this and i want to ask you questions like what are the three 
limiting belief that you need to eliminate from your thought a thought process and what has to change in your self talk answer me these two questions like first question is what are the three limiting beliefs that you need to eliminate from your thought process and what has to change in your self talk and comment in the like a uh, give your opinions feedback in the comment section below thank you so much be a rock star don't be a victim of your life be a rock star of your life you have that power you are the author of your life you need to dream crazy but believe bigger go get things done thank you thank you guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you thank you so much namaskar I always tell people is this you have to monitor your self talk monitor your self talk if you go around and people tell people oh i have a horrible memory i'm not smart enough i'm getting too old fill in the blank first of all if you fight for your limitations you get to keep them does that make sense a lot of people like oh i'm so forgetful i'm so busy which that whole busyness really bothers me like where people so you how are you doing i'm just so crazy so stressed so busy it becomes like a badge of honor that people wear, wear all the time and then what do you start reinforcing being busy right but here going back to this your self talk is the program that will run so you want to be mindful right and stand guard to your mind because your mind is always eavesdropping on your self talk your mind is always eavesdropping on your self